What's going on everybody and happy Friday, man. Welcome to the weekend. Hope you had another great learn from home week. I know it's weird, I know it's different, but look, everybody's going through it the same way. Not just everybody at your school or in your class, but everybody in the state of Georgia, everybody in the United States of America, everybody around the world is experiencing the exact same thing that we're experiencing, but it's all kind of on different levels. So continue to work hard, continue to wash your hands, and continue to be kind to people. Tonight's book is by Janet Sebring Lowry, and it is called The Pokey Little Puppy. It's that one right there. So let's discover more about this pokey little puppy, shall we? On Mr. Eric Reads. Five little puppy dogs dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, one right after the other. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four, but one little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered, for he certainly wasn't on the top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side either. The only thing they could see going down was a fuzzy caterpillar. And he wasn't coming up the other side, because the only thing they could see coming up was a quick green lizard. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, running round and round, his nose to the ground. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another, and down they went to see the roly-poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble, till they all came to the green grass. And there, they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They all asked. I, I smell something, said the pokey little puppy. Then the four little puppies began to sniff, and they smelled it too. It's rice pudding, they all said. And home they went as fast as they could, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting on them with rice pudding for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who dig holes under fence, she said. No rice pudding tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone was sound asleep and he ate up the rice pudding and crawled into the bed as happy as a lark. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign, and the sign said, don't ever dig holes under this fence. But the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, two and two. And when they got themselves to the top of the hill, they counted. One, two, three, four. And one little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered. For he certainly wasn't on the top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down the other side was a big black spider. Oh. And he wasn't coming up the other side. The only thing they could see coming up was a brown hot toad. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there was the pokey little puppy sitting still as a stone with his head on one side and his ears cocked up. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another and down they went to see roly poly, pell mell, tumble bumble until they came to the green grass and there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They all asked. I, I hear something, said the pokey little puppy and the four little puppies listened and then they could hear it too. It's chocolate custard, they all cried. Someone is spooning it into our bowls. And home they went as fast as they could, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with chocolate custard for dessert. But their mother was again greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who will dig under the fence? She said, no chocolate custard for you tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But that pokey little puppy came home after everyone else was asleep. 
and he ate up all the chocolate custard and crawled into the bed as happy as a lark. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up another sign. The sign says, don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. But in spite of that, the five little puppies dug another hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill two and two. And when they got themselves to the top of the hill, they counted. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a little grass snake. And he wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming was a big grasshopper. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, looking hard at something on the ground in front of him. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see roly-poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble, till they came to the green grass, where they all stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. I see something, said the pokey little puppy. And the four little puppies looked, and they could see it too. It was a ripe red strawberry growing in the grass. Strawberry shortcake, they all cried. And home they went as fast as they could, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with strawberry shortcake for dessert. But their mother said, So you're the little puppies who dug that hole under the fence again? No strawberry shortcake for you. And she made them go straight to bed. But the four little puppies waited till they thought she was asleep, and then they slipped out, filled up the hole, and when they returned, their mother was watching them. What good little puppies, she said. Come and have some strawberry shortcake for fixing your mistake. And this time, when the pokey little puppy got home, he had to squeeze through a wide place in the fence. And there were his brothers and sisters licking the last crumbs from the saucer. Dear me, said his mother, what a pity you're so pokey. Now the strawberry shortcake is all gone. So the pokey little puppy had to go to bed without a single bite of strawberry shortcake, and he felt very sorry for himself. And the next morning, someone had put up another sign. No desserts ever unless puppies never dig holes under this fence again. The end. Again, that was The Pokey Little Puppy by Janet Sebring Lowry here on Mr. Eric Reads. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday night. Have an excellent weekend. I'll be back again tomorrow for some pre-K kinder friend for your books and on Sunday and on Monday and until the foreseeable future. So take care of yourselves, wash your hands well, and be kind or we'll make it through this, guys. I'll see you guys around.